What is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Sonic Adventure DX. In the last episode we battled Chaos 4 and Eggman, uh, well, he flew off because he's a little bit of a coward because we did destroy Chaos 4. So in this episode we're going to be chasing after him, so let's go ahead and go to Tails' workshop. Sonic, wait here for a second. And with that, we have to do Sky Chase again, which, uh, oh joy. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and just do this one more time. Take out all these enemies. Let's see how well we can do on this. I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, well, that guy escaped our wrath. We should have a couple coming below us. Well, I'm trying to get a couple more. Well, that's not too great. Whatever. I'm trying to get a high score here, so I'm using my homing attack as much as I can. Because I think your score multiplies if you use it. I don't know if it does with the uh, just the normal machine gun blast. But whatever, let's go ahead and just get as many of these guys as we can. There we go. Sweet. Our score is actually looking pretty good right now. And uh, my goal is just to hit 8,000. It won't affect us any, or at least it should. I don't think we'll be getting an extra emblem for that, but... Uh, whatever, let's go ahead and just... Wait a second. There should be uh Whatever. Yeah, I was waiting for that guy who... Oh, he didn't crash this time. Whatever. Let's, uh... Just fire out all these. Yeah, I feel like you have to... Just wait and, like... Get as much crap as you can. Which really isn't too hard. But, I don't know. It's a little annoying because sometimes they fly off screen, and sometimes when they fly off screen, I, I'm not able to get them. Uh, I was waiting for you, man. I was waiting for you. All right. So our score was looking pretty good. It's looking all right now. I think, we're, I think we're still in the doable stage. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not gonna get it this time. That's fine. Whatever. Let's see if we can get 7,000. We should have three more jets. Well, we didn't get them. Alright, well, it looks like we're getting somewhere around 7,000. Oh, sweet, we actually did get it. Alright, not bad, not bad. We, we didn't get 8,000, but that's fine. We'll have to get that next time, I guess. Uh, because 8,000 is the way to get the other emblem, uh, which I don't think we'll be able to get now anyways, but that's fine. And, uh, now comes this little cutscene again. I'm not gonna bother being quiet because he says the same exact thing. It's the same cutscene as it was before. Uh, so, if you saw uh, the video where I was playing a Sonic and we did Sky Chase, then you already know what he says. It's a little hard to hear him either way. Anyways, I didn't see what percentage I got. That dream brought back memories. I owe so much to Sonic. 
Sonic! Hmm, wonder where he went. Sure hope he's all right. The tornado's not powerful enough. If I'm gonna get that egg carrier, I need to finish my prototype. It needs a Chaos Emerald to work. Looks like I better find one fast. I love it how he doesn't even sound like he cares that uh, Sonic's just not there after that giant plane crash. Or not even a plane crash, but after they were shot down. Anyways, he needs a Chaos Emerald, so let's go over here. Bounces weren't even in sync. There was like, boink. It was so weird. Anyways, yeah, we need to go hit that switch, and uh, that makes this little sand wall disappear. You can't go down there until the sand disappears, which takes a little while. But there we go. And now we are in Sand Hill, which is a interesting stage. I don't know what the point of it is, honestly. But uh, here we are, going way too fast for. Oh gosh. What are you doing, Tails? Can you turn? Thank you. So yeah, the best way you can actually turn in this uh, game, well, while you're on a snowboard, or in this case, I like guess, sandboard, is actually to just crash into something, believe it or not. It's, uh, it's a little weird, but it works. Let's go ahead and just go down here. It's a very short stage. I think we're pretty darn close to the bottom, actually. Everything, everything sort of just falls in place, too, which is weird. But I don't know, I'm, I'm not trying to judge, but it's interesting. Anyways, I don't think we're gonna be able to get this. Oh, we did! Hey, look at that. And yeah, we're actually really close to the bottom. The bottom's just right down here at the bottom of this hill. There it is, actually. And uh, let's go catch that frog with a tail. It's a little weird it has a tail. I just skipped through all that crap. Well, you happen to be... I actually don't know where he is, honestly. But, he's not in his time, I can tell you that. Let's go ahead and grab this item. It's the only item you can get in this area. So it's like, if you miss it once, you can't go back and get it. It's pretty much a bow tie that allows him to do this infinitely. Whereas before, he was only able to do it once. But, now he can do it as many times as he wants. The servers are the seven Chaos Emeralds. Hello there, friend. How are you? Um, what were you saying before? Huh. It's something my grandmother taught me. I'm never to forget it. It goes like this. The servers are the seven Chaos. Chaos is power, power enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. But I'm still not sure what it all means. But the number seven is the same as the number of emeralds there are. Emeralds? Forgive me, but I don't think we've ever met before. I'm to call. And you are? This 
can get my tornado to up and where to go. I love how random that is, just having Big come up out of nowhere and be like, Bruh. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Sonic Adventure DX, and in the next episode we are gonna go, uh, well, I guess, try out Tails' prototype, so I will see you guys next time for more. Goodbye.